Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, I have shown you that how will analysis for response spectrum for earthquake and I have already completed that. The link are given in description. You can watch that and from that video, I will show that how will analysis for nonlinear pushover analysis nonlinear pushover analysis so for pushover analysis I will use the previous model that I have already created for response spectrum analysis so if you knew her you can watch the previous video First of all, we'll open ETAPS 2016 that I am working with that software. And after that, I will use our previous model. So it's taking some time as I'm also screening. So after opening it up 2016, we'll go for our previous model. So from here, I'll open our previous model. And uh, there have many video, almost 60 plus video about it ups. So if you need practice or if you need to learn about it ups, you can watch my playlist. The whole playlist and whole link are given in description. So I think that will be helpful for you and here is the model with that we have worked previously for response perspective analysis and our everything will be same as response spectrum analysis I mean our load our model everything and I will only go for push word analysis from here and I'll unlock that after unlocking I have to start pushover analysis procedure so first of all to work for pushover analysis I have to go here define and one thing I am just starting from our previous lecture and uh, our load or uh, building modeling everything will be same and here I am just using a simple model I am using a simple model and also I think I should I think I will use all a story and I will reduce the building size so that I can do that analysis quickly and with a minimum time that's why I will call a story and I'll select from here and I will delete that so here I have delete that and from here also I'll select that and also delete that I think uh, now okay so click here set grid to hide our grid clear and here also set grid okay it's done so I'll close that and in our 3D model, it's okay for 3D model. And uh, I have just reduced the building size so that I can do that work easily. Because uh, when I'll go for pushover analysis, then it will take huge amount of time for analysis. Uh, for big building, it will take many time, and for a small building, it will take lowest time. That's why I have deleted that and so from here I'll go here define after that I'll go load case here load case and for dead load here is the response spectrum 
lot case and previous video have done that and for load case I will convert that modify select dead load then modify and from here we'll change that from linear statistic to non-linear statistic okay linear statistic to non-linear statistics then press ok so it's done and if I double click here and here scale factor should be 1 okay then again we click here add new case so from here add new case and for add uh, for new case we'll give her pushover analysis x for x gestion px or short meaning is that POF pushover analysis for X direction and load case type from here load case type will select nonlinear statistics for nonlinear statistics and mass source will use that or mass source one I have shown you about that mass source in our previous video I mean on our response spectrum analysis okay so it's done for our mass masters and after that we have to go initial condition so from initial from initial condition it will be continue from a state at end of nonlinear case load at end of the case are included nonlinear case so click on it and from here I have to select dead load nonlinear case dead load because uh, in our sometime ago here we have used our dead load as nonlinear statistic so from here we will use dead load nonlinear case it will be dead load and after that load applied here load applied we have to add click add from here load type it will be acceleration so from load type we have to select acceleration load type will be acceleration and load name we have to select load name ux when we are using for x direction it will be ux after that scale factor it will be 1 so is done after that a load application for we have to come here for load application and we'll go here modify and from here modify we'll select load application control will be displacement control displacement control they have three option full load displacement control and quasi a statistic run as time history so we'll use displacement control and from here control displacement so from here we have to go control displacement that is the important thing so use monitor displacement what is the meaning of that so use monitor displacement that means uh, here everton load to a monitor displacement magnitude of here we have to give the value that displacement it as well monitor suppose we want to displace our top story within a distance so here we have to give that value and for five story suppose for five story for five story or every one two three four for that four story 12 into 4 plus 6 the bottom from uh, bottom to foundation that is 6 so that is our total that is our total building height and 
we'll multiply that with 12 so that will be in ins and we'll divide it by 500 so according to our code according to our court I mean our country courts for five story building the maximum displacement will be 1.296 1.296 inch 1.296 inch so I'll give here suppose twins I will uh, monitor for twins defl deflection of our building you can give her according to requirement uh, I mean at at what limitation you want to displace your building for that the ETAPS will displace till that and it will calculate the value for that suppose uh, if I go for 2 inch for 2 inch or suppose if I go for 3 inch okay 3 inch I'll do it for 3 inch and after that here monitor displacement we have to click uh, select our u1 after that from here we have to select top top story we will monitor for top story and here we have to give value 1 after that click here okay and from here here result saved from a result saved option we have to go modify or show and from here we will select multi estates for multi estate for nonlinear statistics case that will be for linear and that will be for multi estate for nonlinear statistic case and number of minimum number of save estate 10 and maximum 100 so it will be default as like as press ok and again press ok so our POX pushover analysis for X reaction load case complete then we will go for Y direction so we'll copy copy that because here almost everything are safe add a copy of case so we'll select that and copy of case and here we'll give the name POY and from here only we have to change UY and everything will be same as our Y direction so press OK Okay, so POX and POY both are ready. POX, POY both are non linear statistics. So then press OK. It's done. So we have uh, defined our non linear statistics load case. And in the next video, I'll show you that how we'll assign our hinge property for beam and for column. And after that, we'll go for analysis. So, thank you. Thank you very much. S12, stay connected till next.